Hello everyone, in that video I'm going to show a new version of Technicray plugin which is now based on live link classes. And the main benefit of doing that is that this live link is kind of formalized unified way uh, between different manufacturers how we can really manage and put device and how we uh, how we are doing synchronization between different subsystems which is kind of good and also uh, this system become more and more stable and more functional uh, in different aspects so it's also very nice to be based on that system and continue iterating on a plugin yeah uh, on based on Lightning foundation so in that video I'm going to show how to do the setup, how to run Tracker and also how to preview that uh, in editor with the Technocrane rig. And yeah, and also I'm going to show how to do a, a simple um, blueprint setup to print out the metadata and the property values from the frame data. Uh, of, uh, of a live link subject. So yeah, let's start. First of all about the setup of the source code and binaries. As usual, the latest version, if it's still not available on the official marketplace, then you can find it on the GitHub repository. And here you can see there is a releases section. Um, this, as usual, I'm uploading the binaries there. So we have different version of Unreal Engine. You need to choose uh, the version that you need. Uh, so the trick is to unpack the source code and binaries into your project plugins folder. So this is how the test plugin um, project folder looks my, uh, for me. So I have this plugins folder, and unpack the source code and unpack the binaries here. So that, that will help me to install this plugin and use in the project. So now let's run the tracker. In the plugin section, the I have already enabled the Technocrate plugin. The version current version is 1.4. So you need to check out that you have the same version. And then I need to go to, to the live link window. So at the moment I'm using virtual serial port simulator emulator to emulate the COM2 port. So then I'm running this uh, data generator to emulate the raw packets from the Technocrane to be sent on my computer into the COM2 port. So we have one to connect to this data. I'm going to Technocrane Live Link and I'm choosing serial port 2, press OK. So I'm receiving data. I see that there is the camera subject with the green light. That means the packets are, uh, yeah, I have some incoming packets. And this description means that the yes means, Y means the yes. Sorry, it's a Y. <laughs> it's here like in math, but it's a Y. Uh, it could be yes or no, which is T means time code, Z means zoom, uh, F it's a focus, and I is the iris. So this is the um, what we have inside the packet. If the focus, zoom, and iris are calibrated, and if the packet contains time code. So this is the brief information about that. Then the next thing is um, when we have this data, it's super easy to really run any cinematic camera. We just need to add a live link controller there and choose our camera subject. And here we go, we have the camera with uh, all data uh, inside. Another way of communication for the Technocrane tracker is the network packets with the UDP protocol. So we can create it with the checkbox to use network connection and bind an address to not really worry about it. some specific address for the uh, Technocrane desktop. And the port number is also we can keep default, I think as usual that should work pretty well. But first of all I need to run this data on my local computer because I don't have real crane connected so I'm, I'm going to use data generator with the network connection and with some data. I have this SGI packet. So here I'm start sending data to my local uh, host. So I'm going to Technocrane Live Link 
and start using, press OK. And here we go, I have the camera movement here as well. But now with the help of network packets. And here, if we have a look into the description, we can see that this packet doesn't contain time code and also the iris is not calibrated. So we have our track running. So now let's connect some Technocrane rig. I'm going to search to Technocrane. This uh, Technocrane camera is almost deprecated. So if you, um, it's better I think to keep going with the live link. Probably next updates I will just remove it. But the Technocrane rig should work pretty well. So we're going to connect to our camera and the crane starts following the camera and also you can see that uh, we're receiving from the packets we're also receiving the track position so this is the values for track position and our crane is moving according to receiving track position as well there are two presets for the technocrane rig uh, the technocrane rig, rig is just for preview and we can preview like a combination of kind of super techno and uh, yeah it's, it's a long way to restart but then here we go we have this techno crane rig following the camera as well if we want to preview that like by default if we play we will see that oh my gosh the whole rig is going crazy really It's really bad. All right. Now it's a little better, but we we couldn't see camera in our preview. Um, it's quite easy to show a camera. We can go back to our camera actor and camera component, and just uh, uncheck the camera mesh hidden. So then, when we can play, we will see our camera as well, and the crane which is trying to follow the camera with its evaluation and use the track position to move as well. Live link frame data contains some metadata and the properties and the information about that you can find in the readme main page. So this is what is included into the metadata, this is what included in the uh, frame properties. And here's the a super brief block out on how you can get access uh, by using the blueprint to that data. Let me try to repeat that. So I'm going to create a new blueprint on a camera and I'm going to use the event tick uh, and my controller that I've attached to the camera. So then I need some live link evaluation. Like this. So that will be the latest frame evaluated from my live link controller. And then from the controller, I need to get a subject. Uh, where is my subject here? Get subject representation. breaking and choosing the camera subject that I have here so let's put it like this so this subject goes here a roll it's camera roll so every tick I'm going to evaluate the latest frame and if it's a valid frame if I will evaluate is successful then I will get some results of my uh, camera blueprint data and it contains static data and frame data in static data is mostly like um, property names for example but in frame data we can get some uh, metadata information and property values so if we want to see and print out the uh, uh, track position for example that we got in the packet, which is the first property value. We can always get this, like a get value, 
and we will receive this. This is the index, which is zero means the first one, track position. And now we need to print this text. So if we have the valid frame, let's print our data of the track position on the screen. So now I'm going to run that and we will see that I'm printing out on the screen the current track position which the packet contains. The same way we can do a lot of things like um, internal raw time code or for example to check if the camera flag, camera on or camera running. We have the same in the properties like a flat uh, float values and also we can have access to the raw XYZ and pan tilt, pan tilt roll uh, values for the rotation. Alright, hope the video is useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye.